Uh, this project consists of a couple different phases. One of them had brand new fence, 10 foot tall, top and bottom tension wire, which uh, we ran on this second phase actually. There was probably about 3,900 feet of that. First phase of this project was actually reusing the existing fence and just adding a two foot topper to the top. So we added a 30 inch uh, piece of fence to the top which will increase that fence to a two foot, two foot higher, making it a total of 10 foot high. So with the tractor though, we actually have a scaffolding on top. We can use a five man crew. We have two people riding on the scaffolding doing the barbed wire and tying or hog ringing the top, either or, depending on what you have on, on the top of it. And then we also have two men on the ground, which they're stuffing and tying the bottom part of the fence behind the tractor. The tractor is actually equipped with some scaffolding that uh, we home, we made it ourselves. Uh, it's all aluminum, it's real light. The tractor actually has one tire that's spread out a little bit wide. It's actually turned backwards to make a, a little better uh, base because this train can be pretty hilly. So the wider the base of that tractor is, the better off we are, especially with that scaffolding on it. In the back of the tractor, we actually have a platform which will actually hold the generator and that generator is actually running all the, all the drills. We like to use electric drills when we're doing a bigger job instead of battery powered. We don't have to worry about batteries going out. Just make sure you got gas and you can keep, keep tying all day long. The old fence had um, a hook tie. I think they're nine gauge aluminum. Um, a lot of them you can tell they're you know, they're not holding up very good, but we're using steel ties, the easy twist ties that are twisted with the drills. Uh, we can move right along with that. I think uh, with our five-man operation, every 70 seconds we're pulling from one post to the other post. So that's doing the barbed wire and all. When we do tying, we also do the barbed wire. The barbed wire is that actually a free run for us. We, it doesn't cost us hardly anything to run the barbed wire when we're tying it at the same time because you, you got to drive forward anyway and you don't have to make another pass all the way around. The only time it actually costs you a little bit more money, it's not co cost you more money but it takes a little bit more time is when you actually got to reload the barbed wire which you would have to do regardless so it actually is actually saving a lot of time because of the fact we're doing it at the same operation. Good! Nowadays everything is uh, efficiency so when you want to move right along you have to be equipped. Uh, you also have to have the manpower to do what you need to do and move right along from one post to the other to get these jobs done otherwise you won't make no money doing airports. Airports are it's a large job, they're bid very tight, there's not much profit margin, and the people that do make money are the ones that can get the job done fast.